Welcome back to the channel. May the 4th be with you. It is May 4th, obviously. We are about to enjoy some really good looking tacos and go somewhere that we have put off now for basically five years, even though we lived in New Mexico. We were residents for two. So we're here in Santa Fe, New Mexico. We pulled over, uh, we had to run some errands. Uh, Brittany had to do a drug screen for her new contract. And we saw a food truck, I was craving some tacos. Even though tomorrow is Cinco de Mayo, we decided to grab some tacos today. Probably grab some more tomorrow. I mean, it's Cinco de Mayo, we gotta do something. But uh, we have somewhere really special that we're gonna head to after this. It's world renowned, they have a few locations. Probably gonna be opening a few more. So take a guess, we're in Santa Fe, world renowned, few locations. I'm giving all the hints I can give, but we're gonna finish these up and then we'll see you over there. We made it. So we will show you guys where we are here in a second, but uh, we found an awesome spot on the side of the road because it is a Thursday, yep. May 4th, and it is packed here right now. And it is almost 3 p.m. We have a 3.20 uh, reservation. So. We're gonna get this buttoned up in here, get the window shades in for the cats. Um, it's actually only about 70 degrees outside, nice and windy. So we're gonna crack the windows, put the roof fan on, and then we have an oscillating fan. Um, we'll, we got a few minutes, so we'll see if that's cool enough in here. We think it will be. If not, we'll crank on the AC. Um, but uh, pretty excited about this. Are you? I'm excited, <clears throat> but uh, also we're not allowed to take our nice fancy camera in there with us, so yep. from here on out, well maybe after the next clip, I don't know, you'll be seeing cell phone footage because unfortunately they do not allow cameras. Yep, so remember that if you ever come here once we tell you where it is. So we are at Meow Wolf here in Santa Fe. Meow. <laughs> Place we have wanted to go for many years, so let's get inside, get checked in. And we can record on phones, so we will be doing that. We're all checked in, and we're inside. We've got our bracelets. We're ready to go in, and it's already cool right when you walk in. You guys can see behind us, this is pretty crazy. Well, we just came out of Meow Wolf and that was very unique, to say the least. Um, I kind of thought there would be more of a story to it though, because it seemed like there was in the beginning, but then it kind of just 
veers off into into a million things <laughs> and I don't I don't know if it's supposed to be like a full story or not but it is very entertaining I think for all ages um, it's it's almost endless in there and you're like did you get it all like did we get into every room we weren't sure so we think we got in every room but we we might have missed one it's actually really easy to miss some of the entrances because um, they kind of blend into the walls so I don't know I think it's worth the money personally and I'm excited that we finally went to go and see it now we are going to probably go to Walmart yep and go to pick up a few gas. things get some gas and we're gonna go back out of town only about 10 minutes away to uh, National Forest Land where we stayed last night and we'll show you guys that when we get there. Well, we made it to our campsite for the evening and I say it's pretty darn nice. Yeah, we uh, drove in a little bit further than last night because somebody was in our spot where we were last night. So we kind of figured that. Mm -hmm. So we drove in a lot further, hit some uh, rough patches in the road and got here to this really beautiful spot. So definitely no complaints. There's Neil, just hanging out over there. We got a pretty large spot, it's very nice. So for dinner, we're feeling kind of lazy. We're gonna cook up some cheese tortellini and we're gonna use some Alfredo sauce. All pre-made, easy as can be, but we kind of just want to relax. Uh, we relaxed this morning and then as you guys know, we went into uh, Santa Fe, only about 10 minute drive. You guys actually can see it. Uh, probably in that clip because we can see the whole city from here and we uh, Went to Meow Wolf. It was a good time, but we're hungry. We want to relax So we're gonna get this cooked up real quick and then probably put up the uh, or I'll put down the projector and Watch a movie or some TV series. Not a bad view for dinner. Well, it's a beautiful evening out here. We finished up dinner. Probably can hear the uh, projector going. Brittany is in there figuring out what we're gonna watch for a movie or series. If you have any recommendations, drop them in the comments. Any Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, whatever. We have it all, so drop it in the comments if you recommend something for us to check out. Or a movie, but we like series. But beautiful view behind me, perfect temperature. But it is time for us to relax and catch you guys in the morning. He's always on dumping duty. He's a good husband. Good afternoon, everybody. We have had quite a day. <laughs> I can only laugh at this point because it started off great and then things just wanna pile and pile and keep being crappy, I guess. So uh, let me know if you can send us any positivity our way. Let me tell you what's going on. So we were just driving back down towards the Rio Rancho area from Santa Fe and I heard the ding from Ford and it turns out that one of our tires, the inner tire on the back left side is uh, showing low pressure so we stopped and Neil took a look at it and it turns out there's a giant screw in it. Huh? Yep, so we're just trying to make it off the exit here to somewhere flat and Neil does have a plug kit so he's gonna see what uh, we 
we can do here. So let's get there and figure this out. So there it is, folks. You can't really miss that. Zoom in there. That is giant. And you can just hear the air coming out. people need to stop throwing junk out on public lands. That most likely happened when we were just leaving the public land. Neil's filling up the tire now. We actually had to go across the street to another gas station because we couldn't get it to fit with the original one. But it is filling, so it should be almost done now. Well, big O tires here in Bernalillo saved our butt. And so they filled the tire for free. Awesome guys there. Sounds like it's holding my patch. Um, a few days, a week will be the test. We'll see if we need a new tire or not. If we need a new tire, that's going to be annoying because we planned on upgrading all these tires eventually once we did the lift. This is going to be really annoying to buy one tire, but that's the name of the game. But uh, as a little treat, reward, I mean, we were playing on game coffee anyways, but definitely need it now. We are here at Badass Coffee. So if you've never been to Badass Coffee, you need to find one and go because it is amazing and they have new drinks. So uh, Yeah, so we're not actually getting coffee. Yeah, we're actually getting like the refresher style. Yeah. They call them the Manas. Yeah, Mana Energy. Mana Energy. So, and they are delicious. We got one before we uh, went up the Santa Fe area about three, four days ago, three yep. days ago. So, uh, we ordered it. Now we're just playing the waiting game. And by the way, I don't think Brittany said it earlier because we kind of picked up the camera late today. We're getting work done this morning and then obviously this little adventure. But happy Cinco de Mayo. And we are going to actually be going to a somewhere special to us. It's a food truck, but it's actually the food truck that we had at our wedding. The couple is an amazing couple. Uh, so we'll take you along this evening when we meet up for friends and we go uh, grab some delicious Berea tacos. And there's and other food trucks in there yes. too. So we're kind of hoping there's some agua frescas oh, yeah. in there. So we're going to celebrate Cinco de Mayo the right way with some real delicious tacos, agua fresca, and whatever else we can find, maybe some rolled ice cream. I don't know, we're gonna go crazy. But we'll see you guys in a little while. So I told you there was a couple of negative things that have happened today, but this right here is the good one that yeah. Neil's drinking right now. So I told you we were gonna catch you when we go to get food, but we yeah. lied, because we remembered. We didn't tell you this big. We didn't tell you the other part that happened this morning. So once we actually get going and get parked, then, uh, Neil can explain to you what happened this morning to uh, us, too. One word, Winnebago. So we're about to head out to the food trucks, but I wanted to show you guys before we go, this is the other thing that happened to us this morning. So let me turn this around. So as you can see, this should not look like that on either side, it should look like these ones right over here. And unfortunately, we had one of the screws, it snapped right in half in this bracket and uh, yeah, totally dismantled everything. So we had to undo the whole thing just so that we could get my window to close on my side here. So unfortunately, the bad luck string continues in this RV. Um, it's definitely very disappointing. This quality from Winnebago is just, yeah, I think disappointing is uh, the nicest way to put it. So we're just going to go get to the food trucks, enjoy some food, enjoy some time with our friends, and uh, stick with some more positive things for the evening. So we'll see you guys when we get there. So I told you guys we were coming somewhere special to us. So the 
these are actually uh, the couple that catered our wedding. So they brought their food truck right to our wedding, and we absolutely love the food here. So let's show you guys the food. We're getting into some burrilla tacos, quesadillas. So let's uh, get back over to the car so we can munch down on these and show you guys what we got. So look at that. They look at that touch. Lollipops on top. And here is the amazing, I don't even know what to call it. I don't know what to call it. Uh, yeah. That they actually marinate the beef in, but they give you that to dip your tacos and quesadilla in. So it's just phenomenal. It's amazing. And let's have Brittany open this up and show you guys what we got. So that's the tacos right there, burrito tacos, and quesadilla for Brittany. So if you're ever in the Albuquerque area, Central and Hunter was usually where they are located. They are called El Tijas. Amazing food truck right over here. You can see it, can't miss it. It's usually the most popular one. Uh, like we said, they catered our wedding. Everybody loved it. It was a hit. And every time we're back in the area, we make sure to come see them. Now that we're gonna be here for the next three and a half months or so, probably gonna come see them at least once a month. So <laughs> we're gonna enjoy them on the regular. But enough talking, we're hungry, it's time to eat. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking 